I was excited, or at least interested, to see what was going to happen with this current GPU generation. And then, well, the generation happened. We had the NVIDIA problems with terribly designed 12-pin connectors melting on 4090s. You have the AMD reference cards that are thermal throttling due to a bad vapor chamber design. But these are issues that are affecting everybody who owns a new card. Linux has, to no one's surprise, its own fair share of issues. But does it really? If you read the review from Pharonix, and not picking on Pharonix here, they said, without a doubt, the RX 7900 series launch is the most successful open source driver debut at launch for them. There are still a few game issues, more RAD V ray tracing optimizations to happen in general, but was much better than prior launches. And I'm sure they're not lying here, and they actually did have a good experience. But that's not the experience that everyone is having. If your plan is to be using one of these slow-moving, point-release distros like Ubuntu or Mint, and you expect things to basically just be plug-and-play, and it's very likely that, that system is using Mesa 22.2, don't buy one of these 7000 series cards. Don't even think about buying. Don't even look at prices. That card is going to be a nightmare to work with. So basically, if your distro is using Mesa 22.2 and LLVM 14 or lower, technically it'll work. Some people have had graphics working with these systems. Many users are reporting that OpenGL isn't even functioning. And if we look at something like Arch Linux, my distro of choice, it's still using LLVM 14, but it is using Mesa 22.3. This is going to give you a slightly better experience, but what you want to be doing to have at all a usable GPU is at a bare minimum using Mesa 23, which right now is a pre-release or using something newer with a Git release, and at a minimum LLVM 15. There is a 0% chance I would be using one of these GPUs on a workstation, a production system like my recording rig, or anything that I want to make sure is always working. When you're running a version of Mesa this new, if anyone pushes a commit that breaks something, you're going to know about it very quickly. I think the safer thing is just wait a couple of months, like three months, six months, unless you desperately need a GPU, and at that point, things will have smoothed out a bit, things will be available on the distros, and it will be a bit easier to have a good experience here. Now, I have seen one user reporting they didn't need LLVM 14. So this person is still using a version of Mesa Git. I don't know what this version is. It's some random person's repo of it, so... It's a bit sketchy to be using that in the first place. But according to them, they are still using LLVM 14 from the Arch Linux repos. And they're having a relatively good experience. In their case, though, they are not using Xorg. They are using Sway. And from my general research, it seems like the people using Wayland are having a more consistently good experience. So, assuming you've bought one of these new RDNA 3 GPUs, what sort of issues might you be seeing? Well, most recently, some artifacting in a game like Cyberpunk. I am seeing some corruption slash artifacts in Cyberpunk that are not present in other games. Furthermore, it only seems to happen inside buildings, and not outside. A good place to reproduce this is in V's apartment relatively early in the game. The door will show the artifacts really clearly. Now, luckily with this issue, this doesn't seem to be some crazy issue that nobody understands. This seems to have been an issue with VKD3D, which is like DXVK, but works with DirectX 12 and converts that into Vulkan. This is triggered by a hardware difference. RDNA 3 has 256 kilobyte tiling modes, which need to be 256 kilobyte aligned. As DirectX 12 expects 64 kilobyte alignments, VKD3D has a fallback, but for whatever reason, the fallback 
doesn't seem to be working correctly as we get incorrectly aligned memory binding calls. And there is a pull request that actually addresses this issue and it has been merged. This is the good result we're seeing. The other issues are a little bit more complex. And it is not helped by the fact that a lot of the other issues are reported by people who don't seem to be very experienced in actually reporting issues like this. 7900 XT display goes completely black and fans sound like a rocket ship. I am running Arch Linux 6.1.1 and installed Mesa and lib32 Mesa and compiled them from source after installing LLVM 16. So they're using a very new version of Mesa and LLVM. The driver works like normal for a random amount of time and my display goes black and the system shows no life while the fans on the GPU spin at 100%. I was running a Windows Virtual Machine with a 3080 Ti and VFIO PCI driver loaded the hand into the VM. The VM kept going, so I knew it was the GPU. This is unusable, this is extremely broken, and needs patched or looked at ASAP. And one of the devs said, hey, I appreciate the report, but the typing in caps isn't going to make this happen faster. What would help us fix it is you provide steps to reproduce the issue. And luckily the guy calmed down and gave an idea of what was happening, what he's using, all of that fun stuff. But even so, it's not clear exactly what the issue actually is. And then he had a completely separate issue. As for that first issue though, it seems to be a similar issue to this issue over on Reddit. Frequent GPU hangs with Mesa Git and AMD RX 7900 XTX. This person doesn't mention fans, but they do say that using an Arch setup with Mesa Git and within an hour or so, my GPU crashes, leaving me with a black screen. This could be a completely separate issue, but if it is similar, this is clearly another person experiencing the same problem. But this second issue may be more similar. 7900 XT Steam Client opens and murders X11. When I start Steam from the terminal, I get the last message Steam will give me, installing Breakpad Exception Handler, and then my display will flash and I'll be prompted to log in to LightDM. So basically, the Xorg server crashes and he's being dropped back down to his display server. And one of the person in here did report seeing a similar issue. Like with the previous issue though, there's not really any indication on what might actually be happening here. So there's not really anywhere to go from here. As for the final issue, this one is a little bit more serious and a lot of people are reporting exactly this problem. AMD RX 7900 XDX graphics hang followed by hardware reset. When playing games or even doing less GPU intensive tasks such as web browsing, the attached monitor screen will freeze. Then after a period of time, I'm thrown back to the login screen, in this case being SDDM, with every graphical application under my previous session closed or terminated. I've attached a deep message log that shows the relevant AMD GPU messages which happened while playing Apex Legends. It is easily reproducible with games that run through DXVK plus Proton by just playing for a bit. I also managed to reproduce with Doom Eternal, no DXVK, just Proton, after long game sessions. Long browsing sessions also reproduce the issue, though they are extremely rare. Only happened twice so far in the few days I've had the card. And if we go down a little bit, there is a section in here that shows the hardware reset. So this seems, at least to me, like it is the same or a similar issue to this newer issue here, just worded in a better way and including a bit more information. But while the support is much better than the others we read, Timur explains sort of the major issue with trying to work out what's going on here. Hi everyone, this bug report potentially contains several bugs and is difficult to tackle without steps to reproduce. When playing games, which games, or even doing less GPU intensive tasks such as web browsing. This has nothing to do with Rad V. I think Firefox uses OpenGL, not Vulkan. I'm going to add the Radeon SI label for the OpenGL driver, but it seems like you're experiencing some general system instability, which may also be a power management or other kernel issue. Same here with Mass Effect Andromeda. 
likely not the same. Do you also experience it in Firefox? I'm having the same issues above, minus the browser crashes on an RX 7100 XT. So this is not the same issue either. Games and applications that do work with RADV debug equals LLVM run fine with no crashes, though some games don't run properly. If you experience GPU hangs in Vulkan games, please tell us which games so we can reproduce the issue ourselves. Thank you. This dev is just trying to work out what's actually going on. How do we reproduce the issue so we can actually track down what is happening? But on the bright side of GPUs being incredibly expensive, a lot of users want to see their expensive purchase actually working the way it should be. So a lot of people have been giving situations where this has been happening for them and different things they've been doing, different hardware configurations they're using, different software they're using, and all of the stuff that you need to know to actually reproduce the issue. Not narrow it down to a single use case that's easily testable, but at least giving an idea on cases where it can happen. Now this is just people talking about these issues over on the GitLab. If you want to start digging around places like Reddit on r slash gaming, r slash AMD, r slash Linux, you're going to start noticing a lot more people reporting some sort of weird issue where Xorg is crashing or they're being dropped down to a black screen. And nobody is really sure what is happening. What does seem to be consistent though is what I mentioned earlier. A lot of these people seem to be using Xorg. I've seen multiple blog posts now about people getting this working and it actually working relatively well over on the Wayland side. Maybe AMD is trying to push for Wayland. I don't think that's super likely. I think what's actually happening is every single GPU launch where there is an architecture change, there is going to be a ton of driver issues. RDNA 3 is absolutely no different. And this is just with the top end of the stack. Not many people are buying these top end cards. As the more mid range and low end cards start coming out, that's when we're going to see how much of an effect this is really having. Whether it's just a problem on these top end cards, or if it's a problem all the way down the product skew. As I mentioned earlier, don't buy these cards right now unless you want to be a beta tester. I have been proven right again and again and again about this. Just wait. You can buy the previous generation. I bought an RDNA 2 card. I have an RX 6750 XT. It works great. I'm having none of these issues. If you do want to buy one of these 7000 series cards though, I highly recommend getting involved in the GitLab and helping out with whatever bug testing needs to be done. But let me know your experience. Do you have one of these 7000 series cards? Do you use it on Xorg? Do you use it on Wayland? Have you noticed a difference in experience? Or are these people that are getting a better experience just seeing a weird edge case that nobody else has? I would love to know. And if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, send me a pay link in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over T. I've got a gaming channel called Brody on Games. That's going to be it for me. And I'm out.